Want to learn how to repartition your hard drive in Windows 10? Hi, I'm Wes Bryan, edutainer at IT Pro TV, and let's show you how it's done. On my Windows 10 desktop, all I'm going to do is navigate to the lower portion of the desktop in the taskbar on the left-hand side. If we right-click on the Windows tile, you will see eight down from the top in this list is Disk Management. Go ahead and choose Disk Management, and this will bring up your Disk Management interface. Then at this point, you locate the drive that you want to repartition. In our case here, in this example, it's going to be Disk 0, and then locate C colon. Your drive might be uh, lettered a little bit different, but if you've gone with the default install, it should be C colon. You can select that and you can tell that it's selected because of the diagonal lines within that partition. And you can right click. And when you choose right click, from here you can choose what's known as shrink volume. And in the shrink volume wizard, after it calculates the values that it sees within this partition, it will give you a dialog box that shows you how much of your partition is available to shrink. We're going to go ahead and make this very easy for this demonstration. We're going to make this a 10 gig resizing here. So I'm going to go ahead and put uh, one zero. 240, so that's 10,240 megabytes, and we're going to choose shrink. Now, what you'll see here is that disk management will go through the process of shrinking this partition, and then at the end, what we have is 10 gigs of unallocated space. We cannot use this as a container yet because we haven't applied a file system to it. To do that, all you have to do is right click on that unallocated space and choose new simple volume. Now from here, you'll get the standard new simple volume wizard that you see when you either repartition a hard drive or you add a new hard drive. And you can just choose next in the wizard and you can um, specify what the size is going to be. We'll leave the defaults and we'll use all 10 gigs that we've just repartitioned and we'll choose next. It's going to ask you, do you want to assign a letter to it? And we're gonna take the next sequential available letter essentially in the alphabet here. But if you choose the drop down list, you can choose any of the available letters that are left in the alphabet. We're going to leave it to the default of E and we're going to go ahead and we will choose next. And on the next screen, this is where we get the ability to use or apply a file system so we can now use it to store our files. We're going to go ahead and we're going to leave this the default NTFS file system, which is what we want to use here in Windows 10. And we're going to leave the cluster size or allocation unit size at the default. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to choose a volume label and just for this demonstration I'm going to say well, we'll call it resized and we're going to perform a quick format and we will choose next and then we get our completion summary. Be sure to uh, check these settings to ensure that they're right before you click the finish button and then once that's done you've reviewed go ahead and click the fi uh, finish button and you can now see if we look here we have a a partition that is named resized. We have a sequence, the next sequential drive letter, which is E here, and we can see that it's a healthy primary partition. And if we open up our file explorer, little folder icon on the desktop, we can now see that it is in the list over here on the left hand side. We have our resized partition, and if we want, we could right click here uh, within this new partition and we could add our new text document. That is how you repartition a hard drive in Windows 10. If you like what you've seen here today, be sure to check out our playlist for more Windows 10 tips and tricks. As well, be sure to subscribe to the IT Pro TV channel.